okay in our previous video we had trained our model that classify images using teachable machine in this video we see how we can deploy that model to our flutter application so let's get started so i have created a sample flutter application where i added a floating action button this button will pick images from gallery I, so i have already implemented a functionality on how to pick images from gallery here i am not explaining much on how to pick images from gallery i already explained it in my other flutter playlist yeah if you want to learn more about the flutter i have a separate playlist for both basics and advanced concepts in flutter i leave in the link in the description below please watch it okay uh, let's deploy the downloaded model uh, if you remember in our previous video we have converted uh, we have downloaded the converted model which classifies images from a teachable machine this model we need to deploy to our flutter application so let's start so to do the deployment first create a, to do the deployment uh, now to deploy it first you need to create a folder into our project into our flutter application that is i'm just creating an assets folder the, i'll keep the name as assets folder so in this assets folder just drag and drop your downloaded model just add it to your assets folder and after adding it to the assets folder go to your popspec.yaml here let's add your assets files over here like assets slash labels.txt and assets which is model un tflight so this way you can add your uh, so in this way you can add your files to your popspec.yaml Next, you are done with this, save it and go back to your main.dot file. So along with this, you need to add few packages here. To add, what are the packages you need to add is which is a TF Lite package. Copy this TF Lite package, go back to your project, to your popspec.yaml. So in, in the popspec.yaml, under dependencies, just add your package. One is TF load package and the other one is meta. Just copy this and add to your project. The meta version from 1.2.3 to 1.1.8 because it's giving some compilation issues. That is the only thing I have changed here. And one more change is when you run this application, example, let me run this through console. I'll open the console, debug console, and go to a terminal. So here, let me clear the build I use commands like flutter clean so this clears the current build whatever the build it is generated that clears the build and it gives a fresh one so here let me write flutter run flutter run so when I run this flutter run so it is giving one compilation issue that's related to the ports so it is saying like uh, metal file is not added properly this is only purely only for iOS but if you go for Android you don't see any issues related to the android only in the build.gradle file you just need to add this add these lines that's the only thing in android this is for tf light package so this tf light package we already added to our pubspec.yaml in android you don't need to do anything only simply you just copy these lines and add to your build.gradle form but for ios there is some version compatible issues are appearing over here if you see it is complaining about some metal file so to resolve this issue what you need to do is go to your ios folder so i'm going to i'm going to my ios folder inside the ios folder you can see the pub, pub pot file dot lock open this in a text editor so here change the version of 2.3 wherever you see the tensorflow light c the it is showing the current version as 2.3 change the version from 2.3 to 2.2 so this solves your issue this is the only small change just change it save it close this again come to your terminal just write flutter just clear everything just write flutter clean so it creates your previous build that was generated and once it's so once it is done with cleaning now you run flutter run this time you don't get any compilation errors that is the only small change you have to do it for the ios cool you see everything is running successfully there's no issues cool we are done uh, so we are done with integrating everything so we have added the necessary packages to spec.yaml and also we have added our model to our assets folder next 
start implementing our application uh, with some few lines of code first we need to load our model so you know we have a loaded our model in asset folder that model we have to initially we have to load into our application to do that first go to your home screen here just i am writing some necessary things so i am writing here some necessary variables first i need to before starting the application in the init state i need to load this model to load the model let me create a functionality over here so before that i want to explain you just create a small functionality to load the model okay. uh, before writing the code for this i am just giving you a small uh, overview on how i created a pick images if you see my previous tutorials there you see the complete uh, understanding on how we are picking the images from the gallery here i'll give you roughly a small idea on how we are picking the images so we have we have nothing we have done over we just created one functionality called get image from gallery this is the functionality for get images from gallery so this will pick images from our gallery and that will assign to our file that file we are loading over here in an image and we are loading an image here that's how that's so simple it's asked to pick images it's simply adding the pickm and we are adding the size of 350 by 350 you see this is what we are doing simply apart from this we are not doing anything okay let's come back to our main code first we need to load our model to load our model let me write a functionality load load model so i'll write a functionality called load my model so which is an async so in this async let me create a resultant i'll give the name as a resultant so in this i'll write await which is called tf light dot load model so in this model let me remove everything over here it assets slash labels dot txt this is for labels and next model so in this in the place of model you have to write assets slash model and quantity dot tf flight okay you are done with loading a model so next i just want to print the result here i just want to print the result after this let me print it i'll simply result after loading model dollar resultant okay i am here i have done with loading my model so this model I have to load at the time of initiating the state. Okay, this model I have to load at the time of initiating the state. In the init state, initially at the time of loading the state, I'll load this, I'll load my model. This is what I need to do. Next, I need to apply this model means what are the model that i have currently loaded that model i need to apply on my images to do that let's create a small functionality to apply my model on my image to create a functionality let's add a small functionality called apply model on image so here i will pass file as an argument over here which is an async and inside again i'll call some resultant and i'll name it as rest and await here i'll call my tf flight dot run mode on image path currently this path i'll get from my argument this file path and next number results so which is two and threshold i'll give it as some 0.5 and image mean so which is some 147.5 and standard deviation which is image standard deviation so i'll give it as some some 147.5 okay i am i am done with uh, applying okay done with applying model on the image next right now i have everything in my res next i need to set the state here so here okay sorry okay after this i need to set the state 
so inside set state let me create a list of results which is a list I'll write some list of results here executing result so initially I'll just put a string and the other one is name I'll give it as name so I have created a list and also I'll create some something called strings which is numbers then uh, next so go back to your apply model and inside the sets set state here under result the result a list just add your res over here and next string sorry string str is equal to right now i have everything in my result so here I need to get the label I need to cut the label so from the key label so which is label if you see if you go to your assets new this is what labels.txt here I want to access this that's the reason we are adding that so label and next label so I have something called name this is what we created over here let's call the name is equals to str dot substring of two next confidence is equals to the result so I'll write uh, one functionality here if not equals to null I'll use some ternary operator here so inside just write a result of zero key confidence do multiply him to hundred dot zero dot two string dot substring zero comma two plus just some empty space okay this is how we have created over here so that's all i'm just created next i want to so i just created a variables a string and a conference just i need to add this next to my uh, image so here we'll get the image and here we want to predicate what image it is and how much confidence it is so for that i need to create a text here so let me create a small text here container just give it a comma and here i want to predict the text inside i want to write name that's currently name you can see name so i'll predict the name uh, with uh, something called name and as well as slash in so with the confidence level then dollar confidence so, see i have created two things one is a name and as well as a confidence so let's go and predict our image so now it's time to predict our model so how efficient our model is predicting so as you see we have created this custom model to classify images uh, between the Virat Kohli and as well as Maria Sharapova so I have downloaded some random images from Google uh, Virat Kohli and as well as Maria Sharapova images I have downloaded from Google and we'll see how much efficiently this model will predict and how much confidence this model will predict so and I have added uh, downloaded some images for the Kohli and as well as uh, Maria Sharapova and those images I have added to my uh, simulator so let's go and uh, predict our model so let's take one image Virat Kohli's image so it is see okay uh, so it is saying it's a Virat Kohli and the confidence is 64 percent so this model is predicted this person as Virat Kohli 64 percent so what I'll do let me give some spacing here sized box and I'll give it a height as 30 I'll give okay 
see now model has predicted this person is Virat Kohli with confidence of 64% let's go back and again select some other so this again it has uh, predicted this image is Virat Kohli with a confidence of 50% that is so more than 50 is okay as you know the machine learning is nothing but predicting the model how efficient it will predict the model that it will uh, feels a better one so you see it's now if you see now the contents level is really very higher which is 90 percent predicted as a virat kohli again go back and select any one other image so I, i'll take this image see it's 99 percent it predicted as virat kohli's image if you see so these models are not the images that i have trained so example if you see the virat kohli's image these images are different and in these images we have trained these images and whatever the images right now we are predicting right? those images those images are randomly i have downloaded from the google so it is saying again it's virat kohli 99 percent it is predicted it's virat kohli 99 percent and again if you go and select the image of mary sharapo if you see this is predicted as 99 percent which is really more and really high and and this is 60 percent predicted as mary sharapo and if you go and select the both the image so it is saying like it is predicted virat kohli's face with a 60 percent confidence so this is how our model is predicted Okay. so this is how our model is working so absolutely fine this is how we can do an image classification uh, by predicting between any two persons so in my model i have created two classes if you have a more classes means if you want to predict more you can you can train your model in the way you want so, so it's very easy and using a teachable machine you can simply add your image and you can create your own custom model